231, two, we're starting to slow down. Okay, now we, uh oh. <laughs> well, the sand, uh, didn't exactly slow us down too much. To make sure you're caught up on all the newest neological videos, make sure you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we have a new map mod to check out. It goes by the name of Multifino, and I gotta say, this map is absolutely beautiful. It is very evident that there was a ton of work put into this thing. And look at the massive castle in the middle of the map as well. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. And is that a giant ramp I see? I think it is that leads straight into the courtyard of this this <laughs> this mansion. At least I think that's what they call it uh, on the uh, the the place selector where you can select where you go on the map. I think this is uh, the mansion, and then we have like a castle, and there's like an observatory. It's a pretty big map uh, as well, guys. Look at the look at the the size of this lad. It also has quite possibly the longest drag strip, the drag strip, quite possibly the longest drag strip I've ever seen uh, in Beam and G Drive. So here's where it starts, right? And it goes all the way, <laughs> still have to keep going, all the way down here. It's just absolutely monstrous uh, drag strip. Might as well be a landing strip for planes, uh, as well, if I'm being completely honest, I mean, it's just it's freaking huge. So we'll have to try that out. And honestly, this is a really good just cruising map. So I think we're going to take a nice Sunday drive. Why am I in the ditch right now? I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So we're going to take a nice little Sunday drive through Mol Multifino. I, I hope I'm saying that right. I don't actually know if I am, but uh, that's how I read it. Let's just take a nice drive through Multifino here. And enjoy our Sunday. Now, what car do we want to do this in? I mean, it makes sense. Uh, it looks like it could be uh, kind of like an Italian setting or somewhere around there. Maybe Greece or something. I don't know. But I think I want to take an older vehicle uh, since I have, I don't drive older cars in Beam and G Drive very often. So how about we take, uh, if I can find it. Yeah, yeah. How about we take a good old Miramar? Uh, through the streets here. Now, I'm going to get a fast one. We're going to go with the street tune because I don't want to go at, you know, a grandpa's pace because, again, it's a big map where there's a lot to see uh, on here and there's roads just going every which way. I don't know if this road actually leads higher up into the mountains or if it's going to lead me down, but that's kind of just the... Uh, we're just kind of carefree today. We don't care where the road takes us. We're just going to follow it unless it leads to, you know, like a dead end. Uh, or something that could probably put it into our Sunday drive, but I don't think there is very many dead ends on this map and we can overlook the city the ocean. It's just a gorgeous gorgeous map. I uh, yeah 250 hours of work. I think is what it said that is just staggering and a staggering amount of work uh, Put into this and it looks like they're actually he's actually gonna continue adding to it because uh, if you go way off in the distance there there's like uh, not exactly roads, but dirt paths carved out, carved out of the uh, the environment that make me think that he's probably going to add even more to this thing. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, I think it could look a little better with maybe a little bit of fog. Not a lot. Just a, just, just a little bit here. Is this even doing anything? That's uh, okay. It's doing some weird things with the map. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> That's all right, though. We're just going to con continue driving here uh, and see what we can see. Oh, I see the drag strip. We may need to take a little bit of a pit stop here uh, and try it out. Now, how do I actually get down to it? I guess if I follow this road long enough, it'll uh, take me there. Or is this just going to lead me back into the mountains? No, it looks like it's actually uh, coming back around. No, it's going back up. Okay, well, how do I actually get back uh, down? I mean, I'm going to keep following this just because I'm curious, but I really want to try out uh, that drag strip. I don't know why. Just just because it's so ridiculously long. Like, most, most drag cars you could take on that thing will probably explode into a fireball before you actually uh, get to the end, but that's kind of the fun of it, I guess. I also don't know if this map has AI support. We'll also have to try that 
out as well. I'm imagining since this is probably still pretty early on uh, in development, it might not, but I've been surprised before. I mean, Los Injuros had AI support, so this one is actually further along, I would say. So maybe, you know what, maybe it does. Maybe it does. This is the definition of the scenic route, that is for sure. Although I think most of the roads on this map could be categorized as scenic. It's just a very, very pretty map. I'm sure there's tons of uh, custom textures on this thing as well. Okay, so now we can turn. That goes deeper into the canyon, I guess. I don't know where this leads. We have some, like, natural baths there. Very, very pretty. I wonder if this guy lives around. Uh, an area of the world that actually looks like this, or if it's, uh, just completely made up. It looks like it's so good looking that it makes me think that it probably isn't made up, uh, if that makes sense. But again, I don't know, uh, for sure. And for all I know, I, I'm pretty uncultured, so maybe this is an actual place and the name is of an actual city. Uh, and I am just completely obliv oblivious. That is a very real possibility, and if so, I am the big dumb. Uh, but, you know, I, I've never heard of it before, so I'm assuming it's it's made up, but I don't know that for sure. Okay, 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 this is slidey. Uh, I kind of just want to see where all these roads lead to. So this one looks like it actually leads to nothing. Uh, but there's the back end of the drag strip. So you know what? We're going to go. I want to do this. I want to do the, uh, the drag strip here. Uh, so we're going to go down here. And uh, spot up something fast and see how fast we can get going. Some top speeds up in here. Wow, look at this. I wonder if it has the functionality. I, I'm guessing it probably doesn't of uh, West Coast where you can actually drag race. But that's okay. We're just, we're just kind of messing around. Remember, we're doing like a nice little Sunday cruise. Uh, but with a little side dish of uh, drag racing here. So you know what? Let's take out uh, the blue bug drag here. Because this thing's pretty fun to drive and uh, see how fast we can get it going. I don't know if I've ever actually top speed tested this thing before. Uh, so it should be pretty interesting here. Let's whip it around. This thing takes forever to turn around. All right, there we go. And three, two, one. I may be ahead of the starting line, but that's okay. And go. There we go. Pick it up, buddy. 100 miles an hour. Can we hit 200? I think we can. 170, 180, there we go, 190, 200 miles an hour, we're going to keep climbing, aren't we, 215, 220, 230, there goes the engine though, 231, 2, we're starting to slow down, okay, now we, uh oh, <laughs> well, the sand uh, didn't exactly slow us down too much, now did it, <laughs> So safe to say, we probably should have slowed down probably way back here. Uh, and even that, I maybe mean, probably would have had trouble slowing down before hitting the the, uh, the the embankment here. But we did stop. That's the good thing. All right, let's find something even faster. What's like the what's the fastest car I actually have? I got to think for a second. I mean, probably the V10 Destroyer, but like one that's not actually a automation monstrosity here. Uh, maybe... The ESRB. I don't know what the top speed of this thing is. Actually, you know, let's try it out. I don't know if I actually do know how fast this thing will go. I'm guessing probably around 180, maybe 200. But that zero to 60 time is just unreal. But uh, here we go. One. Oh, you know what? We might, we might actually go 200 in this thing. 150, 160. Oh, no. Yeah, no. It's going to top out at about 161. That's the only thing about electric cars. They're really, really fast, 0 to 60, maybe even 40 to like uh, 80 or so, but they generally don't have insane top speeds, I've noticed. At least with Tesla, uh, that seems to be the case. Of course, you know, the, the, the Roadster, the new one, will go just a ridiculous miles per hour, but uh, like the, the regular ones uh, seem to not have the highest top speed, but their 0 to 60s are just insane. And it seems like this is uh, along those lines. All right, let's do one more drag uh, car here. I think my fastest overall drag car is probably the Moonhawk. Uh, so let's try this one. We have to beat, like, what did we go? 250 or something uh, in the blue box. So let's see what we can get with this one. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> the G-forces, I can feel them through my screen. There we go, 200 miles an hour. Easily. Engines are smoking. 230, 231, yes! 235, six, seven, can we get seven? No, we're not gonna get 237, but yeah, 236, still incredibly fast. That is just mind-bogglingly fast. We need like an actual funny car drag car uh, in Bemidji Drive. You know there was a like a like a weird Russian mod that was kind of like that, but I want like an official, like the guy who made the monster truck mod, if he can make like an uh, actual drag car that goes 300 miles an hour, that would be amazing. All righty, let's move on. So again, there's just tons of roads to drive on this thing. It's I, I no way I could get it uh, in just one video, but there was one jump up here uh, that, w that I wanted to try out real quick. So we need kind of an off-road capable vehicle here. I'm going to go to my 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 go to for this type of thing, which is, of course, the sunburst rally. It's just it's just perfect for this kind of thing. Uh, so let's spawn that up and go off this jump. It actually seems like it's kind of like a like a dirt track here of sorts. There's some logs to, to roll over. Let's go around here real quick. There's a lot of automation stuff out around. I've noticed uh, as well. There's even an automation test center uh, up towards the top of the map. All right, here we go. Drift it. I hope these logs don't absolutely destroy the bottom of my car here. Okay, they did a little bit. That's okay, though. <laughs> Mainly just the bumper getting ripped off, but that's fine. Uh, but let's let's go off this jump here. I don't know where it's supposed to lead. I guess just to your death. Like a lot of jumps in BMG Drive, but that's okay. Here we go. Yes! Welcome home. We're at our mansion. <laughs> just park it right there. <laughs> oh, man. Is that a well? Or is that just a fountain? I think it's just a fountain. It also has like an actually pretty condensed city here. Again, obviously a work in progress, but still uh, pretty good. I think this is some elements taken from uh, the Italy map, if I'm not uh, mistaken. At least that's what it looks like. We got some no textures. I thought those were like Halloween decorations at first. There is a, a few missing textures here and there, uh, but that's not the fault of the uh, developer of the map. That's just BeamNG being weird. I'm sure. And we also have, I'm pretty sure we have a race. There's the automation track as well in the roads I was talking about earlier. That might be roads later on, uh, but I'm pretty sure there's also just a straight up race track around here. Yeah, here's the start. I believe which way do you actually face this way. Okay, let's take a lap uh, real quick. Probably not in this car. It's looking a little busted, but uh, let's go for an actual race car here about the ETK. Uh, track day. This thing is just ridiculously powerful. So I think it'll be a good match for this this uh, racetrack. Now, does this racetrack go through the streets of the city? Because I love I love racetracks like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Not closed off. So we're just going to have to guess uh, which of these roads is the actual track. Now there's stands going this way. So I'm imagining I guess it's this right here. And then we follow this through Oh, this is actually a pretty big track. There's lots of roads that lead off the track, though. I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm still on the racetrack. Oh yeah, I guess I am. If I see if I see stands, I guess that means I'm still on the track. And this goes right up to the automation test center, and then loops around a very layered map. Like it's it's like the complete opposite of flat. Like there's no flat bits on this map. I love that. And, it, and also at the same time. It still feels very wide open, even though uh, it's not not a flat map at all. It's a very odd phenomenon. Okay, which way am I going? Into the wall is what I'm going. I couldn't slow down in time. Yeah, you gotta watch those corners because they're uh, a little bit of a doozy. It does take us through the city. I love that. This is a big track as well, and you even get some uh, some beach road as well thrown in uh, with the racetrack. That is. So cool. Okay, so how long does this map go on? I think, oh, you, you get to see all the sites. We're even going to go by, right by the um, the castle as well. This looks like a normal road, though. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's not. There's some more stands uh, up here. So it takes you by all the sites. And I think it's going to take us back into the city as well. Maybe the whole the whole um, layout of the city is the racetrack. I don't actually know. It looks like it is, though. Right through downtown. We could stop for some gas if we really wanted to. <laughs> I think I'm still going the right way. Yes, we are. And across the line. That was actually 
a really, really long track. Okay, we should probably stop. <laughs> that's a good way. Good a way as any. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Beam in G Drive. This has been Multifino. I still don't know if I'm saying that right. I think I, I, I think that's right. Anyway, absolutely gorgeous map. Highly recommend. There's a lot to see on here. I'm sure I missed quite a bit. Maybe I'll make a part two. I don't know. If, it, if this video gets enough interest, I'll definitely uh, make a part two. Exploring all the little details of this map. We even have like a, a rusted out. We have like some urbex stuff here. Anyway, guys, I'll have a link to this map down below. Uh, it's a pretty big map, almost a gigabyte. So it's not small by any by any measure but it's pretty pretty freaking good pretty good well done man anyway guys make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you guys in the next one see ya